The scheduled maintenance for Pokemon Home to 3.0 is currently underway, but as we eagerly wait the integration between that and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we've had a bunch of data mined information come out about this new update that we're going to cover in today's video. So when the maintenance period was announced, Pokemon did advise that the maintenance period would take between 6 and 30 hours. So we could see Pokemon Home integration go live at some point today or maybe tomorrow, which would be the 31st of May for a lot of us, depending on your time zone. In the meantime, while we wait, like I say, a bunch of data mined information has come out about this new update that we're going to have a look at today because there is a lot of interesting information that's going to come along with this initial update and to sort us off we've got to give a massive shout out to matt yukana over on twitter data miner and he has put a bunch of information out on this 3.0 update as well as previous updates that we've had but he starts out with the pokemon home version 3.0 paldea pokemon render so you've got all of the pokemon renders how the pokemon are going to appear in pokemon home when you transfer them in it's got the shiny forms and the regular forms as well and they do differ slightly from how they show in game but that's kind of normal for pokemon home as well he has kindly put a big file there of all of the pokemon renders that you can get so it's every single pokemon with how they can appear in pokemon home and you can see some of the artwork there which is pretty nice and there's some different artwork for how the pokemon would appear that we've not seen them before so yeah if you want to grab that hop over to matt's twitter account and you can grab those for yourself and the other news and this is a pretty big one matt discovered pokemon home version 3.0 also contains several pokemon renders that are just eggs with text which belong to the following another form of spide ops which is huge tandem mouse and mousehold if they are not gender unknown and all the ride forms of Coriadon and mariadon so the, the basic premise of this is that the ride forms of Maridon and Coridon are pretty like self-explanatory. You're not going to probably get those appearing in Pokemon Home because they're specific to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The Tandem Mouse and Mousehold as well does raise questions. Is there going to be a gender unknown form of the Tandem Mouse and Mousehold? Uh, that would be quite interesting to see if there is another form of them in maybe the DLCs. But I think the big one that sticks out to everyone is the spide ops form because that is something that has caused a little bit of a stir in the community and people are wondering if there's going to be another form of spide ops when we go into the dlcs and you can see here soul silver and a leak analyst this could actually hint at our first new form for spide ops of all pokemon which makes me so freaking ecstatic it's not 100 percent confirmed but it makes a lot of sense also of all the pokemon home nine gen sprites including three segment dunspots I'm in heaven right now. So you've got all of these updates, but the more important thing is that information about Spide Ops here, which really kind of hints at something that we potentially might get another form of Spide Ops. It's one of the weakest fully evolved Pokemon that we've got in Scarlet and Violet. So it would make sense to kind of buff this thing up so it is usable competitively. It is good in battles and things like that to give it a, another form or another evolution. And the information here in the data mine kind of suggests that there is something going on with Spide Ops. Obviously, like Soul Silver Art said, it's not 100% confirmed. This could have just been a design or another form that was designed and they're not really gonna do anything with it. But the fact that it's in Pokemon Home does create a little bit of a question mark uh, whether or not we are gonna see something about Spide Ops and it getting another form with the DLCs when they do drop. It's also worth noting as well, uh, if Pokemon obtained in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl undergoes hyper training in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you won't be able to move that Pokemon back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl until it reaches level 100. And there's no mention in there about Sword and Shield. And this is just to kind of get around probably the hack checks or the cheat checks that BDSP has implemented in it. There's no hyper training in BDSP, so it makes sense that to get around this, the only way to do it would be get your Pokemon to level 100 in uh, Scarlet and Violet and then you're able to trade it back to Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl so there is that backwards compatibility there is just issues if you do hyper train a Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet you're gonna have to then level it to 100 before it is accessible in Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl kind of interesting interaction there with how the Pokemon backwards compatibility works 
but as of course when the update goes live we'll go into a bit more detail about that but as we know so far if you are trading a pokemon into pokemon home and then into scarlet and violet you hyper train it make sure it's level 100 before you're then able to trade it back into bdsp or anything like that but no mention as we say for sword and shield and i wouldn't imagine there's any issues there if you do hyper train a pokemon in scarlet and violet because hyper training is available in sword and shield you may be able to just trade it in there although there might be the same criteria where you have to get it to level 100 before you're able to train it into that game because in sword and shield the pokemon has to be level 100 before you can hyper train it whereas in scarlet and violet the threshold is only level 50 so there might be some complications there as i say nothing mentioned from matt about sword and shield just yet we do have a bit more information about the pokedex text for the dlc paradox pokemon specifically the walking wake and iron leaves that are new paradox pokemon through events recently where we've been able to obtain them in scarlet and violet they don't have pokedex entries in the game and they're not registered in the pokedex in the game but in pokemon home they have had a little bit of an update with ecologically under research so this does kind of throw up a few more questions as well whether or not we're going to see the other forms to these trios in the dlcs come so you're going to get like the paradox form for raikou and entai as well as terrakian and kobalion as well so it would make sense and maybe even a final form as well where they're all merged together who knows but um it does kind of throw up a few questions for the dlcs and this is just the update that we've got for these Pokemon at the moment. And then Matt's last one for tonight. Here's an asset dump for the mobile version of Pokemon Home, complete with all the brand new stickers and wallpapers. And you can see some more imagery here, which is interesting about the Charizard. You've got the Mightiest Mark Charizard here as some kind of stickers and things like that. You've got the Quagsire and you've got the Clodsire, uh, the Taurus versions as well, and then the Tatsuguri as well. So there's a bunch of them in there and Matt kindly shared those all with the community. Uh, and then there was one more thing, he did update all of the new mobile challenges in Pokemon Home. So these are challenges you can complete by doing certain tasks in the game and these have all been updated with the new update to 3.0. Deposit a roaming form Gimme Ghoul that was caught in Pokemon Go. So we know if you're in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the only way to get the roaming form Gimme Ghoul is by trading it from Pokemon Go where it's catchable and then into home and then into Scarlet and Violet. That's something that you're gonna be able to do. Uh, there's other things like deposit a Pokemon that has the Mightiest Mark, deposit Pokemon that have Jumbo Mark and Mini Mark. So there's all sorts of different new challenges that you can do when trading into Pokemon Home. And also there is a full list thanks to Central Leaks who posted out a full list of Pokemon that are gonna be tradable from Pokemon Home into Scarlet and Violet. So there is a lot of Pokemon here to go through. We'll not go through everything in today's video, but you've got all the Charizard line, obviously that makes sense. Anything that has been in the seven star Terror Raids that currently isn't in the game, you're gonna be able to trade those in. You're gonna have the Pikachus and all the Cap Pikachus. So if you've got all the Cap Pikachus from previous uh, Mystery Gift events, you're gonna be able to trade those into the game as well. All the Alolan forms, it makes sense that they're all gonna come in. We've had uh, some of the uh, Galar forms already in the game, so all the Alolan forms can be traded in as well, and that goes for the Hisuian forms as well. The big one I'm really looking forward to is Alolan Muk. I absolutely love Alolan Muk, but that's gonna be tradable in as well as all the other Hasui forms from Pokemon Legends Arceus as well. So you've got a full list here. I'll link this in the description of the video if you want to take a closer look at it. But like I say, it's a pretty comprehensive list. These are Pokemon that you can trade in as soon as this update goes live. Now we know that there are going to be additional Pokemon that are going to be available to trade into Pokemon Home. From Pokemon Home to Scarlet and Violet when the DLCs come out. But because those DLCs aren't out yet, the, po the additional Pokemon that will be accessible in the games eventually won't be released until those DLCs come out. So uh, this isn't the finished list of Pokemon that are going to be available in the games. These are just the Pokemon that we can trade in right now because the DLCs haven't dropped yet. So if that makes sense. But that is everything for today's video. Of course, it's just a quick update in regards to the maintenance. It's ongoing at the moment. They have said it takes between 6 to 30 hours. So imagine sort of later on today that we'll start to see that integration with players around the world, different regions getting 
having access to it in their games. As soon as we do here, we will do a full update of all of the new features and access everything and how the functionality works in Pokemon Home 3.0 with Scarlet and Violet. So if you've got anything you would specifically like to see in that video, please drop it in the comment section below and make sure to cover it when that video goes up. But this is just a quick snapshot of what we've got coming. Very exciting. Again, a massive shout out to Matt for all of the work that he's done on the data mines. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And let me know, do you think we're going to get another form of Spydops in the DLC? It's pretty exciting, right? Good reason to go out and hunt a shiny one right now if that is the case. Thank you for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.